hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is success guys in today's video we are cooking ogbolo soup together so this is my goat meat and my beef and my ogbono this is the ogbono i'll be using later i'll be blending it with my crayfish my stockfish and my bonga and also my dry fish this is my dry river fish so guys in today's video we are cooking together this is my salt my chili pepper my seasoning uh cube my palm oil and my cow skin and my chicken my turkey neck yeah and my fish then my spinach so these are the ingredients that i will be using for my ogbolo soup so before we get started i've already washed my uh meats i've already clean them so i will be uh, boiling them in the fire right now so guys stay with me to the end of this video and see how the ogbolo soup comes out guys this is cook with me so i'm showing you guys the blender that i'm going to use to blend my ogbolo and my crayfish guys if you have not subscribed to my great youtube channel please subscribe to this great youtube channel and support the channel by hitting that like button guys so guys I will be boiling my cow uh, beef and my um, and my goat meat together because these two meat are very strong. So later on, I will have my uh, uh, cow skin and my stockfish. So I will be only using uh, salt and my seasoning cube on this one. So we don't need too much ingredients on this our recipe guys yeah guys avoid the noise because you hear the noise in the background my kids so i'm a mom of two please subscribe and keep watching guys there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you're safe And that I will see you soon If I could lay down beside you I would Oh, oh, oh. 
So guys, once I'm done blending my ogbono with my crayfish, then I also check on my meat so that it will not get burned. And I'll put my palm oil on top of my pot so that uh, the oil will melt a little. Then once I'm done blending, checking my meat, removing my um, palm oil, then I will put in my dry fish so that there will be um, soft on my soup so that will be soft so guys later on i will be slicing my spinach to add to my soup later why i'm cooking the soup guys um please like the video and subscribe if you have not there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are Cause you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you're safe And that I will see you soon If I could lay down beside you Like you saw me did i just uh turned the meat away from the pot i just poured the meat in the bowl then allow the pot to dry then i'll be having my palm oil i'm going to fry the ogbono a bit just for three minutes so that it will get melt so that um it will not get mold while you cook your ogbono guys so you have to let the oil also melt not too hot so that you know burn your ogbono also so you have to let the oil melt cook for just two minutes and you pour your ogbono inside and just keep stirring it also you see that yeah, they are melt so you can add a little bit of water stir them together and let the ogbono um like uh cook and you cannot see any more than and it's smooth then you can add your water add your ingredients to eat and add your um crayfish chili pepper and i will not be adding extra salt because you will see me testing it and the salt was okay then i'll just add only uh another cube of seasoning cube yeah 
just for taste also so i will not be having extra salt just watch me guys as i go this is cook with me video so i'm just telling you guys what i am doing after i have stir fried for three minutes guys you have to keep stirring it because you don't want it to burn guys you don't want your obono to get black so you still want that yellow beautiful color so you have to keep turning it like this there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if i can lay down beside you i would i would when nothing really matters that's all i wanna do i hope that you're safe and that i will see you soon if i can lay down beside you so guys you saw me having my fish if you want to um, boil your fish alongside with your beef you can also do that but i don't want my fish to scatter inside the soup so i still want to see my fish why i want to eat my food so i'll be putting it the same time i'll be adding my uh ingredients my spices my pepper salt um again uh, all those stuff before i also had my fish then i stay them together to leave them to cook about 30 minutes guys guys you have to let your ogmono cook very well in case if you put it in the fridge so that it will not get spoiled quickly so you have to let it cook for some time just leave it there and keep stirring it because you don't want it to get burned under because ogbolo can get born easily if you don't stir them you just keep stirring it once you leave it a few minutes you stir them few minutes you stir them together so you can see me tasting it i'm just checking for taste if the salt is okay if the seasoning cube everything is balanced so i'm just checking it and you saw the water i pour to this uh obono. you might think this water is too much no guys it's not too much because my obono is much i'm cooking for like one month or sometimes three and some days weeks so it's going to take me for a very long period of time so i'm cooking one month food so once your obono boiled and uh you just had your spinach maybe 10 minutes to bring it down because i'm using freezing spinach from the freezer so i'm using freezer one so that's why i, I put it late so just leave it 10 minutes to cook then i'll be bringing my oven down and also make my wheat i'll be using wheat to enjoy my oven later so guys keep it if i can lay down beside you i would i would So 
talk on the phone every night. Love to hear your voice. Not sleeping well, and I know that you're right, but you should know it. You've been gone for way too long now. If I can lay down beside you, I would. I would. When nothing really matters, that's all I wanna do. I hope that you're safe and that I will see you soon. If I can lay down beside you, I would. I would. Even if you're gone, I won't forget you. You're all I know, what I need, and that ain't changed. So guys, you can see me testing my soup again. Guys, the soup is ready. It's ready to eat. My food is ready, guys. So I'll be putting it aside. Then I'll put my water to make my wheat because I'll be using wheat to enjoy my food, guys. Please, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to my growing YouTube channel. Guys, look at my soup and my wheat. The soup was nice, guys. Please subscribe and see you on my next video. Bye.